you'll find that after you've used your plant or equipment in the construction industry after some age or after some period of time that plant is shed. so this is what you want to do guys welcome back again to my youtube channel we want to see how we are going to calculate the knowledge value in a plant after due to usage or age so there are several methods that you can calculate the the decline the depreciation but on today's tutorial we are going to look at the double rates method sorry for my voice i'm having a little bit homer but i'm okay so we are going to look at the double rates method the straight line method and the double rates method and the rate of return of the so these double rate methods it uses a book value at the beginning of a year against a percentage depreciation so if you look at this chart here this is how depreciation goes this is what you had on when you bought the plant after one year it goes down after the second year it goes down so it keeps going down up to the end so at the end what you have at the end is the salvage value at the end of your years of the span lifespan of the plant what you have is the salvage value the salvage value is the amount of value that you can now be able to sell the plant all the amount of value after the lifespan has expired so you want to look at how we are going to calculate the double rates so we are having an example and we are told to calculate the depreciation at the end of the 50 of a concrete mixer with a book value at the beginning of the first year to be 8000 so the book value is 8000 at the beginning of the first year <coughs> now we are going to look at how we can get the double rates so the first thing that you're going to do you're going to find the double rates so that is yearly percentage depreciation so uh, we are we take the total percentage that is 100 percent we divide by the number of years and then that gives us 20 but because it's double rates we multiply by two that gives us 40 40 percent so our our depreciation is 40 percent per year now let's see how we are going to calculate the depreciation at, at every now let's calculate the depreciation during the first year so the book value at the beginning was 800,000. this is what he had at the beginning of the first year and then we said our depreciation percentage is 40 percent so let's find how much is it how much is the concrete mixer depreciating during the first year so that will be 40 of 100 times 800,000 giving us 320,000 step two we calculate depreciation during the second year so that one is we get it by taking the book value at the beginning of the second year so at the beginning of the second year our book value will be the book value in the first year this one here minus what has depreciated during that first year for us to get what we are going to start that year with so that is 800,000 minus 320 it gives us 480,000 so our depreciation during the second year now will be our percentage depreciation times the book value at the beginning of the second year that is 480,000 giving us 192,000 so we are at the third year now let's see what happens in the third year so at our third year we are at step four we are to calculate depreciation during the third year so we take the book value at the beginning of the second year so book value at the beginning of the second year is sorry the third year is the book value at the beginning of the second year that was 480 minus depreciation during the second year so that we get a value that is at the beginning of the third year so when you enter the third year your concrete mixer has a book value of 288,000. depreciation during that third year will be 40 over 100 times the book value that is 288 giving us 115,000. now let's proceed to the fourth year so fourth year depreciation during the fourth year will be first we start by getting the book value at the beginning of the second year so we are going to take what we had the book value at the beginning of the third year minus what depreciated during that year for us to be able to get what we are entering into the fourth year with so that is 288,000 minus 115,200 that gives us 172,800 shillings so this is what we have at the beginning of the fourth year now depreciation during the fourth year will be percentage depreciation per year over 100 times 172 
thousand giving us sixty nine thousand one hundred and twenty. So this is depreciation during the the fourth year. Now we proceed to the fifth year. At the fifth year, it's the same procedure. We are going to find the book value at the beginning of the fifth year. So book value will be book value at the beginning of the fourth year minus depreciation during the fourth year. That gives us 103.6, and 680. Depreciation during the fifth year will be 40 over 100 times the book value at the beginning of the fifth year, giving us 41,472. Now, to calculate depreciation at the end of the fifth year will be book value at the beginning of the fifth year minus depreciation during the fifth year. So, what we had at the beginning of the fifth year minus what has depreciated during the fifth year, when we tabulate that one, it gives us 62,208. Now, if you want to resell your plant, if you are planning to resell your plant, or if you want to calculate the value of that plant at the end of the lifespan that it, it had, that is five years, you'll find that the resale value is that two, two, 208. This is the salvage value. So guys, that is how we do it. Until next time, bye-bye.